One apple a day keeps the cardiologist away despite diabetes. Well, according to research, eating one apple every day can reduce the amount of chemical in the blood that is linked to the hardening of the arteries. Even though apples have been praised for their health benefits for many years, some people are still skeptical about eating them, right? Well, some people claim that apples can raise blood sugar levels. Oh my God. Well, but this is not the whole story. While it is true that apples contain sugar, they also contain fiber, antioxidants, which can help to offset the effects of the sugar. I have never seen someone, really, being diabetic because they ate an apple every day instead of choosing sugary treats and snacks. Have you? The only reason that can happen if someone has type 1 diabetes, which, you know, they have no control over, but incredibly, apples have been shown to reduce the amount of a chemical in the blood that is linked to the hardening of arteries. As a result, eating an apple every day can be a simple and effective way to improve your health. Let's talk about the science and research, and then we can go over which apples have the lower sugar. According to the findings of a recent research, eating one apple every day may in fact help reduce the need to see a cardiologist. A study on healthy adults of middle age found that eating one apple per day for a period of four weeks reduced blood levels of a substance that has been linked to hardening of the arteries by 40%. Consuming Capsules containing polyphenols, a type of antioxidant found in apples, resulted in similar effect, although one that was not as significant as eating apples. So according to the findings of the study, eating apples can help reduce the levels of oxidized low-density lipoprotein or LDL, which is also known as the bad cholesterol. If LDL cholesterol becomes oxidized as a result of its interaction with free radicals, the cholesterol has a greater propensity to promote inflammation and is capable or capable of causing tissue damage. Just one apple per day for 21 days resulted in a significant reduction in the amount of oxidized LDL in our blood. LDL is a type of cholesterol, like you know, they can be oxidized, they're damaged, and they're prone to be exposed to free radicals. When LDL becomes oxidized, it takes on a form that begins the atherosclerosis, or hardening of the arteries. By reducing the amount of oxidized LDL in our blood, apples can help to prevent this damaging process from taking place. So next time you reach for a snack, remember that apple a day can keep the doctor away. According to the study, the difference was comparable to that which was discovered between individuals who had healthy coronary arteries and those who had coronary artery disease. The research article can be found in the online version of their Journal of Functional Foods. So, a daily consumption of apple is significantly more effective at lowering oxidized LDL than other antioxidants, such as the spice-based curcumin, green tea, tomato extract. Can you believe that? Moreover, apple consumption is associated with a lower risk of cardiovascular disease in both men and women. Now, when it comes to this particular effect, not all antioxidants are created equal, right? So for the purpose of the study, the researchers sought the non-smoking healthy adults, like me, between the ages of 40, which I'm almost there, and 60, who had a history of consuming apples no more frequently than twice per month, and who did not take any supplements containing polyphenols or any other plant-based concentrates to make sure that the study is clean. In total, 16 participants consumed a large red or golden delicious apple, which was purchased at a grocery store in the Columbus area on a daily basis for the duration of the study. 17 participants took capsules containing 194 milligrams of polyphenols on a daily basis, and 18 participants consumed a placebo that did contain nothing. Uh, 
When participants were given a placebo, the researchers saw no change whatsoever in their levels of oxidized LDL. The researchers said, we think the polyphenols account for a lot of effect from the apples, but we did try to isolate just the polyphenols using about what they would get from an apple a day, right? The researchers think that the polyphenols account for a lot of effect from apples, but, but the researchers discovered that the polyphenol extract did, in fact, register a measurable effect. However, the effect was not as powerful as the apple itself. This may be the case for one of two reasons, right? First, there may be additional components in the apple that are responsible for the effect. And secondly, it may be that these bioactive compounds appear to be more readily absorbed more effectively when they are consumed in food like the apple. Well, nevertheless, they stated that the polyphenol extracts might be helpful in certain circumstances, uh, possibly in higher doses than the researchers used, maybe. But for people, I guess, who insist on not eating apples, maybe use that. But the findings of the study found that eating apples had some effect on the antioxidants that are found in saliva as well. So these findings have implications for dental health as well. So they plan to investigate this further. So maybe eating an apple will help your teeth as well. We'll find that out. So for those who are concerned about the sugar content of the apple, here's the tip of the day. Well, different apples have different types of sugar levels. And Granny Smith apples tend to have the least sugar, while sweeter varieties like the red delicious Fuji apples have more sugar. However, no matter what type of apple you choose, you can be confident that you are making a sweet and a healthy choice. While it is true that apples do contain sugar, the type of sugar found in apples is fructose. Fructose is a natural sugar that is found in fruit. It's not the same thing as high fructose corn syrup that you consume in processed foods, right? So, remember that, an apple a day, keep the doctor away. So guys, thanks for watching. It was uh, a nice and long video, uh, but thanks for watching until the end. Share it with your friends, give a thumbs up, support the channel. I really appreciate when you do that. If you learned anything from this video, please let me know in the comments. I love hearing from viewers, and I'm always happy to answer questions whenever I get a chance. Even a simple thanks in the comments means a lot. Okay, thanks for watching again. I hope you have a wonderful day.